and here comes Victoria Williams for one more time. The armband fastened to her upper arm and she'll slot back in. That's centre back for the Albion, a place she has made her own over the last few years in blue and white. Try of maybe difficult to sum up into words, but how does it feel to finish up here at Albion? To be honest, it's like it's a bit heartbreaking, really. Um, I think if I, if I go back to like 2018 when I signed, like the place I was in when I signed, like I'd I didn't have a club and. I was sort of wondering what I was going to do if I was going to play at all and I remember Amy Merrick's ringing me um, asking me if I'd come down have a look around the place and that they were keen like her and Hope were keen to sign me and I came down and had a chat with Hope and I remember even driving back I was like oh, I don't know I'd never even been to Brighton before then and um, like I came with Emily Simpkins you know what I mean and we just went like feet first into it and I've had the five best years of my career by far. Special place to be in I know like it's not been you know what I mean? We probably had more lows this season than I's, but like, through it all, like, we still managed to have a laugh. We've still seen each other through every single time. And like, wherever you go, whether you stay or you go, like, that is the bright way, like, looking out for each other. So, those that are staying, keep that with you, keep looking after each other, keep seeing the good in each other. And those that are moving on, take, take that with you to your next club. It's so powerful, honestly. And I'll, I'll miss you, I'll love you to bits, alright? I'm so grateful to, like, all the staff I've worked with. I'm so grateful to Hope and Amy especially um, for all the work they've put in with me. They've completely changed my game and, you know, I've had career highlights here and I didn't even think were going to be possible. Like, I thought the ship had sailed for me. Um, and, you know what I mean, they put the trust in me and they gave me opportunities and they helped me develop. And, like I said, not just as a, a player but as a person as well. Like, do you know what I mean? I leave, I leave this club, like, sad but so grateful for all the, the memories that... I've, I've created with my teammates, just with the fans, like, you know, I've seen some people here today that I remember they used to turn up when we were getting, like, maybe 500, do you know what I mean? And now we're getting, like, three and a half thousand, like, on average. Um, it's, it's fantastic to see, and I feel so proud to have been a part of, like, do you know what I mean, the maiden voyage in the WSL and that, and, yeah. Um, yeah, that's all I can say. It's just, yeah, it's been a blast, and I'll, I'll miss it. It'll be... It'd be tough not to be here, but do you know what I mean? Like I said, one, one chapter ends, another begins, so. You've really embraced this club, obviously, on the pitch, but the work you've done off it with AITC as well just means so much to you, this club, doesn't it? Yeah, I just, I think I've just really bought into the club ethos, and like I said, it's completely changed me as a person, and I think... I, I, do you know what I mean? It means a lot to me to give back to the club, not only just like on the pitch, but off the pitch as well, and supporting the people that support the club, and you know, just going out and meeting people that aren't as fortunate as we are. It's, it's amazing to be a professional footballer, and I know so many little boys and girls have aspirations like that. And when I was their age, like if a senior player even looked at me, it made my day. Do you know what I mean? So to spend an extra couple of minutes with them every time you see them, or to go out on an appearance, like. I, I just love it because I know, like, later on, I don't know, it just, it makes you want to give back in the future. And, and I think, yeah, that's what Brighton's done for me. It's, yeah, it's been really humbling being here and I've, I've loved it. Not the result you wanted this afternoon, but what a send-off that the fans gave you and the rest of the girls and it really shows how much you guys mean to them. Yeah, yeah, obviously, I'm not happy with the result, but, um, yeah, it was just nice to see everyone and I'm glad it was at home. So that those of us that are moving on um, could just make the most of the day and just spend one last day together with everyone. And even some of the some of the girls that used to play for the club have come along as well. Um, yeah, I couldn't have asked for a better send off. Might be difficult to do so, but how would you sum up your career here at Brighton? I don't know. I just loved it. I loved it. It's been it's been a journey, and it's not always been perfect. It's not always gone my way, um, but. I've never like resented it, and I think that is an amazing feeling to walk away from somewhere. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, my time's up here, but I don't walk away with any resentment. I'm just so grateful for the for the memories I've had here, um, and I'll I'll take them with me like the rest of my life. To be honest.